So let's keep moving on these. These are a little bit tedious, but you'll want to get lots of practice. And again, for this one, we're just going to be dividing polynomials. So we'll set up our long division. We'll put the x minus 2, since we're dividing by that, we'll put that on the outside. And we have x cubed plus 6x squared minus 5x. And I'm going to put plus 0 so that we have our constant term, even though it's 0 in this case. And we just start our process. How many times does x minus 2 go into x cubed? Or what can we multiply this by to get a leading term of x cubed? And we can multiply everything by x squared. And we'll want to find the remainder now. So we'll actually carry out that multiplication, x squared times x is x cubed, x squared times minus 2 would be minus 2x squared. We subtract to find that remainder. And as always, the first term should cancel out x cubed minus x cubed is 0. And we get 6x squared minus negative 2x squared. So we're adding 2x squared, we get 8x squared. Then we bring down the next term and repeat the process. So from there, we ask, what do we multiply x by to get 8x squared? Well, we can multiply by 8x, and 8x times x would be 8x squared. 8x times minus 2 would be minus 16x. And we, again, are subtracting to find that remainder. So the first terms cancel as expected. We have minus 5x minus negative 16x, or plus 16x. So that gives us 11x. And we can bring down the constant term, the plus 0, so that we have a placeholder, so that when we do our subtraction, it does make sense. And we ask, what do we multiply x by to get 11x? And we can multiply by 11. So 11 times x would be 11x, and 11 times minus 2 would be minus 22. Now we subtract to find that remainder. Let me just make a little more space. And again, we put it in parentheses to keep our signs in order. 11x minus 11x is 0. And then we have 0 minus negative 22 or plus 22. So that would just be 22. And this right here, since there's nothing left to bring down, this is our remainder. Or if you look at the problem, this is the k value we're looking for in this remainder, remainder expression. And notice that if we didn't bring down the 0 then we wouldn't have everything line up. It would be a little bit confusing. So you always, if you're missing one of the terms, you want to put in zero of that term just to use as a placeholder so that the subtraction makes sense and so that everything lines up correctly. So our remainder was 22. So we can put plus 22 divided by the original linear expression that we divided by, this x minus 2. But you can see that that does match up with this description. We have some polynomial. That's that first part all the way to the 11. And after that, we have plus k over x minus 2, where in our case, k is 22. So let's put that in the box. We have x squared plus 8x plus 11, and then plus 22 over x minus 2. And again, you can recheck all of this just multiply everything by x minus 2, which is a little bit tedious and messy. But if you want to be certain that you got the answer right, like for a test, then you would need to do that. You would need to check this answer.